نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وأحل عقدة من لساني يفقه قولي السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته brothers and sisters جمال الوجود بذكر الإله وتصف الحياة بنور هدى Insha'Allah, today we'll be talking about Christmas. Christians believe that Christmas marks the birth of Isa alayhi salam. Yet, both in the Bible and in the Quran, it states that Isa alayhi salam was born at a time when the shepherds were flocking their sheep and the date palms were ripe. I am not an... I am not an expert in farming, but I still think that shepherds would not flog their sheep at the time of winter. Uh, furthermore, this time, 25th of December, was actually the Roman birthday of their gods, Saturn and Bacchus. There was a Saturnalia and a Bacchanalia on the same day. These were the birth of the Roman gods, and it might be that this pagan tradition had influenced the Christians' religion and had made them believe in such a theory. Furthermore, the idea of a Christmas tree or a mistletoe. A Christmas tree is basically a tree that is evergreen. Now, the Celtic people of the north believed that winter was the time of darkness, the time when evil was spread. That's why Santa Claus, or Saint Nicholas, he was called the devil, the devil of the north. And in the Bible, it, it states that the throne of the devil is in the north, in the cold. So cold in the winter, the Celtics believe it was the time of evil and darkness. And Saint Nicholas would come and abduct the children if they didn't, if they went out after night. This was the way of parents to teach the, uh, to uh, scare their children into staying home. So later they moved some things here and there and made Saint Nicholas a saint. Rather, he was called the Devil of an, of the North. He used to wear a a red cloak and had a long white beard and rode a sled that had two serpents with wings two serpents with wings it sounds familiar and he used to have a big bag he used to come through the chimney and he used to kidnap children on this 25th of December so the evergreen was one of the trees that survived survived the cold so the Celtics believed it to be a holy tree so they made amulets out of it. They kept it in their home to ward off so-called devils of winter. And they hung mistletoe out of their doors as amulets. Amulets for protection against the evil of winter. So my brothers and sisters, many ask this question. Is it permissible to celebrate Christmas? Although we do not believe that Isa a.s. was born on that day. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Do not, do not imitate the disbelievers. If you imitate the disbelievers, it is as if you are one of them. Imitating the disbelievers, this is why Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us to grow our beard and shave our mustaches. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told, told us this to so stay far away from the mushrikeen to be different from the mushrikeen Wallahu a'lam and brothers and sisters know this that nothing is haram except that which Allah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in the Quran or hadith and nothing can be classified haram just by the word of one scholar or a few scholars so brothers and sisters insha'Allah please do not celebrate this religion that is based of, on paganism and, and the beliefs of Celtics and Romans. Brothers and sisters, this is an innovation. And the Christians and the Jews have innovated the religion as to such that it is no more purified. 
Their religion is now full of dirt, and their hearts are full of black spots. Brothers and sisters, Ittaqullah, fear Allah. Ittaqullah, fear Allah. Ittaqullah, fear Allah. I advise you, my brothers and sisters. I ask Allah to protect us from the fitna of this dunya and from the fitna of what is to come. Subhana rabbika rabbil azzati amma yasifun. Wa salamun ala al-mursaleen. Wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Brothers and sisters. Jamal al-wujud bi dhikir al-ilah. Wa tasfu al-hayatu bi dhikir al-ilah.